So this is not quite a review. This is more um, relaying my experiences um, in trying to boost the signal on my Huawei E5372 mobile Wi-Fi. So I've got a SIM in there. This is uh, for three. And obviously when I'm traveling, I, I hook up my laptop wirelessly to, to this um, to make sure I've always got broadband wherever I am if there isn't anything else available. So I'm often getting, you know, not a great signal on this. So I thought, try one of those aerials. They say can boost the signal. So I went on Amazon, had a look at what is popular as per normal. And I found this, this is the Urant uh, 4G antenna. Obviously 4G backwards compatible if, if and when you fall back to 3G, etc. So they say, wow, up to 35 dBi um, gain. DBI being, as everybody knows, um, a measurement, a decibel measurement relative to, to an isotropic radiator. Okay. So, yeah, so I've got this Urant 4G LTE. And now I say Urant because that's what it said on Amazon. But clearly, this is just yet again another rebadged, not even rebadged. It doesn't say Urant anywhere on the box. So, Obviously, if you see something that looks exactly like that on eBay or whatever, it probably is exactly that, even if it doesn't say your rent. There's no branding whatsoever, as you do get a lot on these cheapy stuff. But uh, that's not here or there. Does it work? Uh, in a nutshell, for me, no. And for me, worse than not working, it's actually again <laughs> getting a lower signal. By the way, these come. it comes in three different versions, TS9, CLC9 and SMA, to, depending on your connection. So I've got two TS9 uh, connectors, which is just under my flappy bits, and the two meter cord that you get with it, simply plug, push on to the connectors there. Uh, by the way, just to give you a quick overview of the thing itself, so it comes with this sucker so it's pretty high tech if you so first of all this is vertical so it's not meant to be used laying flat or anything like that so wherever you put it it should be vertical like that um it's not supposed to be directional so as long as it's vertical um and the idea is so there's a little screw thing on the base there you can put it say on your table except that after about three minutes it suckers itself off. It does stick, seem to stick to plastic better than it does to a table. And obviously the uh, the likelihood you're gonna to wanna to put it on a window. So there is a second uh, screw on the base, which is what you'd use for a window. Obviously you're not gonna do that on a window. Uh, so that, yeah, it screws in there like that. And again, you just, a little bit of water on there. And yeah, that would go up against the window. But bear in mind, you only get two meters of length there. So you're gonna to have to be near a window. So my experiences are that when I, even no matter if I'm a low signal area, a high signal area, whatever bar I'm getting on this without the aerial, I, I'm getting the same with that attached. And sometimes I'm actually getting less. Um, so this is an example uh, that I just did at the desk, but it's pretty much the what I get everywhere. So this is just a quick test to show you the difference between using the Huawei with its own internal antenna and then from the same position with the uh, external antenna, the Urant. So here you can say, see that I've got a full five bars. So that's the maximum signal I can get. I don't normally get that, but I did on this occasion. Sometimes I get five and it'll go down to three and it'll wave in between them, but it's actually a, a solid signal. So just using that little thing's internal antenna, I am getting five on its own scale, which just goes up to five. So if I switch to the external antenna, I'm expecting at least you know a stable five bars as per the little tiny antenna it's got in, inside the unit and this is what consistently happens i'm actually getting less of a signal so on no occasion is it actually boosting my signal but as you can see here 
it's I mean it's just one one moment after the other from the same position same signal and yet I'm actually picking up only three three bars on that power level so and <laughs> that was consistent each time I used it so a big fail there so yeah pretty disappointing um, if you look at the reviews there's a lot of reviews and they're quite mixed uh, basically if, if it's worked it says it's added like one bar of the five for most people for a lot of people uh, they're saying it didn't work at all and some it's just uh, you know it's, it's it's mixed so this is not a night and day improvement if you're going to get an improvement um, you know for about 20 quid maybe worth the gamble obviously Amazon you can send back so that is my experience with my 4G antennae booster.